Today we're going to take a look at the Anatec Corporation ring tester for high Q inductive components. There it is there. Uh, the little blinking red light indicates that the unit is on. There'll be one or two red lights blinking uh, to indicate that. You turn it on and off with the button at the top. High Q inductive components. What do we mean by high Q? Q is a measure of the quality of an inductor. That's where the Q comes from. And it's the ratio of the inductive re reactance, which is 2 pi times the frequency times the inductance. Inductive reactance divided by the DC resistance. So the higher the inductance, or the lower the DC resistance, the higher the Q. So a high quality inductor has got a lot of inductance and not much DC resistance. Now, when Let's take a look. I've got my oscilloscope connected to the output leads of the ring tester. I'm going to scan up there, take a look at what it's doing. Let me get you focused here. There's the output pulse that the ring tester puts out. And it's those fast edges that cause the ringing. I'll show you the ringing in a bit. But these edges here and here. Vertical scale is 200 millivolts per division, so it's about six tenths of a volt. It's actually a current pulse, uh, but it's limited to six tenths of a volt by a diode inside. And it's about the horizontal scale is one millisecond per division, so it's about two and a half milliseconds wide. I'll change the horizontal scale here, and you can see there's about uh, 100 milliseconds between pulses. So that's what the ring tester does. Now I'm going to connect it to this. Toroid, you can get an idea of it here. Uh, toroids generally are pretty high Q because they've got big wires, which gives you low DC resistance, and some kind of a core, which is going to give you pretty good inductance. You can see the waveform changed. I'll change the horizontal scale so you can get a better idea. And there we see the rings. So a high Q inductor, this is how it responds to that pulse input. You get a damp sinusoid that rings at a frequency de de determined by the inductor itself. And the ring tester counts the peaks on these rings. There's a lot of rings, it's high Q, and you get a lot of lights on the ring tester. Scan down here and see what it's reading. And there you can see we've got three red lights, two yellows, and three greens. That indicates high Q, which is what we would expect from a toroid. Now you can use a ring tester to detect bad switch mode power supply transformers and other transformers. I've got a switch mode power supply transformer here. If you can see that. Now I'm going to connect the ring tester to the primary winding of this transformer. And you can see we're getting five lights lit into the yellow. Yellow is medium Q and that's what you would expect from a switch mode power supply transformer. It's not really meant to be a high Q inductor. It has some inductance. It's got low DC resistance so it's going to be medium Q and that's what the ring tester is showing. Back up to the scope. And you can see we've got a ringing going on there. Not a lot of rings, but some. Now I'm going to simulate a shorted secondary winding by clipping a clip lead across one of the secondaries. And watch what happens. Here we go. Bingo, the rings disappear. Shorted secondary winding, the ring tester is connected on the primary, and you get no rings because that shorted winding is reflected back into the transformer through the transformer's action. And back down to the ring tester, and you'll see there's no lights lit at all. Sure indication that this is a shorted winding. 
You can use the same technique on various other transformers. Any kind of a transformer, the ring tester will detect shorted windings for you very quickly and easily. And there you have it. We offer the ring tester here at Anatech. You can buy it in kit form and assemble it yourself, or we'll assemble it for you either way.